What's your beef wallet hub? Live pictures right now across the city we love, Cleveland, Ohio. Beautiful. So much to love in that picture, Christy. Beautiful day here in March. It does seem like once a week, though, a new survey is being released, ranking a variety of factors that make up a city, and we're often on the wrong end of those surveys. Very often. And we're, we're taking everything from best tippers, rudest people, biggest party city, you name it, there's a list for it. And let's just say, Cleveland doesn't always come out on top, as Jay said. Mike Polk Jr. studies these opinion surveys like it's his job, because it is, and he's noticed a trend recently. So only here on 3 News at 5, Polk goes straight to the source to find out how they come up with these questionable poll results. Hey, Cleveland, another one of those internet lists that rank U.S. cities for various things just came out, and we got mentioned. Based on precedent, do you think it went well? Of course it didn't. As Clevelanders, by this point, whenever we see one of these clickbait ranking lists meant to capture our attention, we should obviously just scroll past it without engaging. Oops, I'm weak, bored, and curious, and I already clicked on it. And according to the website WalletHub.com, Cleveland ranked number 181 on the list of happiest cities in America, which sounds bad already, but gets even worse because that's out of 182 cities, with only Cleveland's precious ego savior, Detroit, bringing up the rear. Oh, just go ahead and use it. At least we're not Detroit. Detroit! But wait, it's worse. When they conducted this same study last year, we ranked 179. So we actually have fallen two spots. But hey, we're, we're not, not Detroit. Detroit! Of course, that's not the only list we found ourselves on this past year. We're also the country's third neediest city with the fourth worst case of asthma. And that we also apparently have a third world country-esque airport. All useful info. Even our positive rankings are not much to brag about. For example, it's not that we're not deeply honored that the website cleverrealestate.com ranked Cleveland the third most affordable pizza city in America. It's just a pretty weak brag. Of course, the city ranking lists are the wicked spawn of a countless number of websites, but one name does seem to surface more than others, and that's wallethub.com. What exactly is WalletHub, and why do they seem to have it in for us? I felt it was time to ask. WalletHub? was founded in 2013 and it started as a credit card comparison website and as you know we also have a huge wing now putting out these these studies we are the most stressed city for the last three years we are the worst city in america to raise a family we're the third neediest is there anything in particular that you guys have against cleveland i can say that a lot of these studies we incorporated things like poverty rate unemployment rates you could just say poorest i mean i know that having multiple lists is fun but each one of those factors even had everything to do with economics. Do you even know that it's fish fry season here right now? How is that not in the methodology? Can that be a factor? There's fish fries everywhere. They're delightful. I vote for making that a factor next right. year. Yeah, I do have one more thing that I do have to mention here, though. It's on behalf of the city. <laughs> in my role as an informal Cleveland ambassador, I hereby withdraw the city of Cleveland from participation in perpetuity in any wallet hub study or list moving forward unless the results are decidedly positive. So it has been <laughs> spoken into the world and so it shall be. It's over. <laughs> All right, noted. Kudos to Wallet Hub and Christy for chatting with me and being good sports. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna take advantage of living in the third most affordable pizza city in the US of A. Hi, Little Caesars. Yes, it's Mike again. I'll have the regular. They know me. This is Mike for 3 News. He's kind of a big deal over at Little Caesars. Oh, my God. Uh, first of all, I think her name, was it Christy? or Kat? Yeah, it was Christy. Christy, she was a good sport. She was a great sport. Uh, and he made her laugh, and I don't think she was in the mood to laugh once he realized that he had a little bit of a bent Yeah. And when he came into the interview. Um, but maybe next year they'll do a list, and the list will say something along the lines of funniest television news reporters, and Cleveland could finish first in that. With because my, yes. no news reporter makes its audience laugh more than Mike Polk. No doubt about it. No doubt so. about it. Uh, yeah, I, where do they come up with these surveys? The most affordable pizza? Yeah, I don't know. Does that matter? I don't know. I don't well, know. I, I guess during inflation, maybe it does. Maybe it does.